White nose syndrome is a disease that is infecting bats that hibernate in caves over the winter. Um, it's caused by a fungus that appears on the noses of bats and it appears as this white fluffy fungus and that's where you get the name white nose syndrome. It's a very deadly disease, unfortunately. Um, it is killing the bats that it is infecting. And in some caves where it has been found, mortalities are as high as 70 to 99%. The disease has been found in Ohio just recently, this past March, so March 2011. It was found in an abandoned mine located in the Wayne National Forest. The single most important thing that bats do for us is eat insects. They are the number one predators of night flying insects. And when I say insects, not just the insects that bother us as humans like mosquitoes, but the insects that are pests to our forests and to our agricultural industry. So if we lose bats, we are losing their pest control services, essentially. There was a study that recently was published in the, in the journal Science, and it was titled The Economic Importance of Bats to Agriculture. And basically what the authors of this, of this study did is they calculated a monetary value by state of what bats save farmers in pesticide cost applications. So it was an incredibly valuable study for that purpose. It actually gave us a value of what bats are worth. In Ohio, it's estimated on the low end that bats will save farmers $120 million per year. On the high end, it's estimated that bats will save farmers $1.7 billion per year. People can just kind of keep their eye out for any unusual behavior. If they know bats are hibernating in a cave or an abandoned mine nearby and they see them flying outside during the winter. I think it's really important for people to realize that bats are one of the most overlooked yet economically important animals that we have here in North America. Um, so maybe there are some people out there, farmers especially, that never really thought about bats or valued them. Um, and now we know that there is a definite value and we have monetary values to kind of back that up.